Now, therefore, be it resolved by the House of Representatives in the state of New Mexico that February 6, 2017, be declared Bernalillo County Day in the House of Representatives. Well, we're really honored by this recognition. This is a big deal for us. Maggie Hart Stebbins. Bernalillo County's elected officials, along with key management and a dozen departments, gathered at the Roundhouse in Santa Fe to help legislators celebrate Bernalillo County Day. The festivities began in the House Chambers, where the memorial was sponsored by Representative Sarah Maestas Barnes. I had the privilege of going into my home district this past weekend and saw one of the great projects. You guys are working on that bike path along Alameda and Rio Grande, and so I appreciate that. My constituents appreciate that, and you all have been a great partner. Um, you guys are doing some wonderful things in terms of economic development and preserving our cultural heritage in the Albuquerque, Bernalillo County area, and appreciate that very, very much. During formal introductions, a standing ovation was in order for the delegation. And last, but certainly not least, a uh, dear friend and our former colleague here in the House of Representatives, um, and also the new county attorney for Bernalillo County and former Speaker of the House, Ken Martinez. As visitors strolled through the ground floor of the Roundhouse, they were greeted by county staff, including the county clerk's office, the county assessor, public safety, and parks and recreation. At noon, everyone gathered in the rotunda for entertainment honoring our cultural heritage. to a comedy routine by Commissioner Stephen Michael Quesada. Because this kid comes up, take my dagger out, and he has that hairdo. I don't know if you guys remember that one. Yeah. His hair was over his face. You can only see one eye, right? You, you open the door and you can see like one eye. Right? I, I thought uh, I, I, he was cousin it. You know what I'm saying? I thought he was going to answer me by going, ooh. And how can you take the man serious when you can only see one eye? You can't even read his face. I brought him in my house and I said, look, did you drive a convertible backwards to my house? <laughs> I don't understand that. <laughs> I go, but I need you to move the hair out of your face, right? Because I need to see both your eyes. And then I saw the pimple and I said, oh, man, that's a good idea. And put it back there. <laughs> that afternoon, the county was honored in the Senate. And one thing I hear consistently about Bernalillo County um, is how easy it is to work with the staff and the county commissioners when that opportunity arises for those folks. They get their phone calls returned, they get prompt follow-ups, and I know this personally too from what I do for a living. Oftentimes I have to interact with staff. Uh, our county assessor is here, and I want to thank her. I deal with those folks all the time, but I hear nothing but good things. And you know, back in the day, you know, you would hear complaints, people not getting their calls returned or they can't get a hold of their commissioners. That's not the case anymore. It was clear from both sides of the aisle that all parties are working for the betterment of Bernalillo County. You know, I did call out the fact that we have about 26 members of the legislature that represent some part of Bernalillo County. And you know, when we walk into this building, when it comes to Bernalillo County, we, we put our political affiliation, we leave it at the door. We roll up our sleeves, we work together. We want our children to do well in education, we want our communities to thrive, we want our children to be able to stay here. We want the same things. Even in these lean times, the legislative session is critical in helping to fund the county's infrastructure and overall ongoing development plans. The New Mexico State Legislature is a huge partner to Bernalillo County, and without them we wouldn't be able to start or complete many of our CIP projects. When you think back at just the last couple of years, 664,000 residents, um, $670 million in new investment to create jobs, uh, the legislature, I want to thank my colleagues in the legislature because in that same period of time we've invested over $21 million in public works projects in Bernalillo County. And in the end, even Bernco Bernie got props. I want to thank our honorary um, 
county mascot, Burnco Bernie. And if everybody takes a look in the very colorful bags on your desk, you have a Burnco Bernie fan. Burnco, Bur uh, Bernalillo County, our, our logo is we're more than you think. And when you heard from my colleagues today, you can see why.